fighting intensified Thursday in Mariupol as explosions continue to pulverise the besieged Azovstal steelworks plant where the last of the city's defenders are holed up, as well as what's believed to be a few hundred civilians. Whilst Russia stated yesterday that Thursday would begin a three-day ceasefire and open a humanitarian corridor for civilian evacuations, Ukraine's militia fighters say that this hasn't been honoured. Heavy, bloody fighting is going on. For 71 days, the defenders of the city have been fighting single-handed against overpowering enemy forces. The Russians have not kept the promise of ceasefire and have not given an opportunity for the civilians who seek shelter from the fire in basements of the plant to evacuate. Moscow, however, has outright denied any storming of the steelworks. Our president and supreme commander, President Putin, publicly gave the order to refrain from launching an assault on the Azovstal plant. No other orders have been announced. This comes amid growing suspicions that President Putin may be trying for battlefield success by the 9th of May. Russia's annual victory parade and the biggest patriotic holiday on the Russian calendar, marking the Soviet Union's triumph over Nazi Germany. As well as suggestions he may escalate military action, possibly even declaring an all-out war, which so far the Kremlin has denied. The capture of Azovstal and the fall of the major port city would be a strong strategic win for Moscow, establishing a land corridor to Crimea, which it seized in 2014.